welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make these greetings cards that I sell on my Etsy store. There are two ways that you can create your blanks for your greetings cards. The first way is to make them yourself which is the most cost effective way. So in order to do this you would need a paper trimmer, this one I have is around £10 from Amazon. You would then want to have a card scoring board which gives you that professional spine in the centre of your card. This one was about £20 from Amazon. And then what you want to do is just measure out your card to the correct dimensions that you would like, use the paper trimmer to cut them and then you would use the scoring board to score down the centre of the card. You can just fold it in the centre yourself without using this. However, it doesn't look as professional, it does leave cracking in the spine, so I would recommend getting one of these if you're going to make your own. And then the second way is just to buy pre-made blanks from somewhere like Amazon. I get packs of 50 for about £10 and it's just so much faster. So moving on to coming up with the design for your card. I personally enjoy using Canva, it's a program that I've been using for a long time and it's what I feel most comfortable using. I generally will start with a 2000 by 2000 pixel square to, uh, canvas because it just makes working out your template and the positioning of your items much easier. I will then later on show you how I move this over onto my actual card template. For the graphic side of things, um, if you're a talented artist you can by all means draw your own designs. If anything, that's probably the best way to go about it. However, I'm not an artist, I cannot draw, so it's best for me to find clip art elsewhere. So the great thing about Canva is if you have the pro version, there are so many different clip art options available to, to you that you can use for commercial use. And then another way that you can find clip art, which is where I found this particular set, is on Etsy. Um, you can just search whatever design it is you're looking for and thousands of different designs and different artists will show up and you can just pick from them. Um, it's important to remember though that when you are using other people's work, whether you're using it through Canva or if you're using it through Etsy or other avenues, you need to just make sure you read up on the commercial licensing rules because some artists will prefer you not use their items for commercial purposes and some don't mind it at all. Um, obviously you don't want to use a set of clip art that isn't for commercial use and then potentially be hit with a lawsuit. So as you can see at the moment I am playing around with all of the different elements. I'm resizing them, I'm changing the positioning and just having a little play around until I'm happy with the final result. This particular part of the designing process can take a fair while if your design in mind is a pretty detailed one, which this particular one is. For me personally though, I really enjoy this stage of the designing process. It allows me to be more creative and just have a little play around. Once I'm happy with the positioning of the elements, I will then go on and add the text that I like. The great thing about Canva is it has so many different text combination options like these ones. So if you don't have a particular font in mind, you can have a look through those and see if there's one that you like. So you're gonna wanna have a play around with the different fonts, the different wording and colouring of your text. So another amazing feature of Canva is it actually will pull the colour codes from the images that you put on your canvas. So if you're unsure as to what colour will look right on your card, you can start with choosing 
that's the same colours that are in your images and then you can kind of go from there. So on this particular one I selected a colour that was from one of the leaves. It was a little bit too light so I then went into the colour wheel and I just darkened it so it's on the same sort of tone however it's just darkened so it still fits cohesively with the design. I'm adding some more text to the card and I'm going to play around with the different font options until I find one that I'm happy with. I will also end up realising that I hate the positioning of the text and the image so I also end up moving that around too. So now that I'm happy with my design, I'm going to group it all together so the whole design moves as one. And then I'm going to paste it onto my card template that I've created also in Canva. The reason why I've created this template is because it just makes the card designing process much quicker. Um, I don't have to faff around with the correct sizing of things because I've got a template that I just use time and time again. So all I've done is I've measured my card blank, I've put that into the sizings on Canva to create this blank canvas. You can see on the bottom I have my Etsy shop logo and my Etsy shop name. This just makes the whole card look professional once it's printed. You know, you can go into any card shop like Clinton's for example and on all of their cards they'll have branding on, on the back of their cards. So I also have a black line through the centre of my canvas and all that does is it tells me the exact positioning of the spine on my blanks. It just makes resizing my design so much easier because it prevents me from going over into the centre and I learned that, that the hard way because I didn't have that initially and I wasted more cards than I care to admit because the design was too big and it kept going over the centre. So now that I'm happy with the positioning, I'm just going to remove the centre line, so obviously that doesn't print out, and then I'm going to make a copy of this template, because that's going to, the copy is going to be the one that I'm going to save and print out. By making a copy, I'm then able to go back into the original and remove my design and just put that black line in, so when it comes to making future card designs, I don't have to remake that template every single time. I'm now going to press share so I can download my design and I always make sure that I download my designs using PDF print as it's the highest possible resolution so when it comes to printing onto your blanks the quality is going to be the best possible quality. So now I've got my design downloaded I'm going to press print and open up the system dialog. Opening up the system dialog just means that I'm able to select the specific sizing that I need so all I've done is I've again used the measurements of my card blank and I've created my own custom sizing so it prints out perfectly. I'm then going to go in and adjust all of the individual print settings to ensure that it's printing at the highest possible resolution. The printer I use is the Canon IP8750. When researching the best printers to use for making greetings cards I found that they were ridiculously expensive because generally most printers don't print on thick cardstock. However, this one is was a decent price and it prints up to 300 GSM, which is the thickness of my card blanks. I'm really happy with the way that this card turned out. Sometimes the positioning is slightly off, so then I'll have to readjust and reprint. However, I got lucky and this time around it worked first time. So because I used the pre-scored blanks, it's so easy to just print out and fold and it's literally just ready to go.
moving on to how I package my greetings cards. All of my cards get sent out with a white envelope and then I like to pop them inside this little cellophane bag just to ensure that they don't get dirty in transit. Once they are safely inside their cellophane baggie, I will then put them inside the do not bend envelopes because it's just the best way to send them in the post without them getting crumpled up. it that is exactly how I make my greetings cards to sell on Etsy I really hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it has been as informative as humanly possible don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already I would absolutely love to have you a part of the lovingly gifted fam any of the items that I have mentioned in this video I will also leave in the description box below so you can check them out if you want to bye guys <laughs>